You've dealt off another episode of The Brew, and as you know, we always talk about all kinds of crazy things. And you know what? Sometimes you guys give us ideas for some shows, and I don't know, first off, how Joel and I came up with this idea. Well, usually on one of our adventures, but today, we're going to talk about a real human thing, and that is restroom attendants. When you're in the bathroom, do you find them helpful, or do you find them a pain? Jersey Joe here on the East Coast. we got two of you on the West Coast over there tonight, right? Yeah. <laughs> Definitely two of us. <laughs> If you want later on, I can fake key in about three, four, five more people in that box over there if you want and really make it like you're having a good time because I know we're going to have a good time with this conversation. All right, so restroom attendance. You guys tell us what you no think. Join us live right now. Hit us up or hit us up later on Twitter. What do you think? Restroom attendants, are they helpful or are they kind of a pain in the butt? I know I have my opinion on this, and Joel, you and I run into problems with it too, but you know what? Val, it's good to be here because you can give us the woman's perspective on it as well because I haven't spent too much time in the ladies' room, at least not lately. But uh, <laughs> you guys first. <laughs> Restroom attendants, are they helpful or hurtful? Just get off of me and you two start talking. <laughs> All right, go ahead. They can be helpful. Women carry bags, men do not carry bags. Sometimes they help because they can not necessarily hold your bag, but watch your belongings, hand you napkins and stuff. You know, We can't let our leather get dirty or anything. So they are a little helpful. Oh, a little helpful. To women. All right. Well, I, I don't carry a bag. I wouldn't there, say they're oh, needed. Well, Joel, what do you think? Are they helpful to you? You should carry a bag. No. 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 <laughs> it's awkward because whenever I go in, I just want to pee. I want to go do the soap thing myself. Yeah. I don't need someone to hold up the soap and go like this and be in a suit and stare me in the eye like, here you go, sir. Yeah. And then when I'm done, like, washing my hands, hand me a towel, like, here you go, sir. It can be I know, and the mints are fucking great, and like I really like the mints too. But like, it, I feel bad. Like I always tip them, but I feel bad because I'm like, I can just piss in peace. I can do all this myself. Yeah. Aside from the mint part, that's pretty cool. But like yeah. everything else, I don't want to like spend money on on tipping people. Like I feel like it's just a job that someone's gotten just to create a job. Yeah, I I can't stand them. It is the most awkward thing, and there's no reason to have them in any men's room, anywhere, anytime, any place. I don't care if you've been here at the Four Seasons. All right, some rich guy, oh, you're going to put a little clone of crap in my hands. First off, I'm going to the bathroom to take a piss. I can handle that myself. I don't have somebody handing me a paper towel here at home, and I'm certainly not going to tip somebody to do it when there's a little dispenser on the wall, and half the time the guy's not even there. So it's totally awkward, and the worst part is the guy stares you down while he's there, and then you feel like you're obligated to pay the guy because, well, he's there. That's true. That is so true. Fuck. It's wrong. It's wrong. I'm so against it. I will actually not go to the bathroom in places that have those just because, A, I don't always carry cash on me either, so I don't want money to tip this guy, and B, I can get a paper towel myself. I'm not tipping you money to give me a damn paper towel. It's, no, I'm sorry. I'm sure it's providing some great service to somebody somewhere, but these dive bars in New York that have it, this is not the Four Seasons. And you and I have been out and about, Joel, and I've complained to you before. I'm like, oh, don't go in there as a freaking restroom. Yeah, that's true. And what you know do we what, do? Joe? I think it would really be worth the money. I would actually be okay with giving a tip, giving me a paper towel and some soap. They wipe the piss off the top of my shoes. Okay, don't, again, don't nobody's touching me while I'm at the urinal either. We're not wiping piss off anybody's shoes. And first off, if if you pissed on your shoes, you're probably really, really drunk at the time. Well, if yeah. you're at a bar urinal, you are drunk at the time, and there's more <laughs> piss on your shoes than you think you are. There well, is. hey, I'll tell you what. If there no. is a restroom attendant yeah. in there, though, that place better be spotless. And I've been in several restrooms that still aren't. So, like, Anybody watching this right now, go look at the top of your shoes right now. Anybody that's ever pissed at a bar, <laughs> you're going to be surprised, including you, Joe. <laughs> I don't even want to, no, I don't <laughs> want to do this activity. Yeah, that's, I'm... It's just freaking it's me out. But hey, we got right a now, lot actually. of great comments from you guys out there <laughs> on the internet. So let's go to our first one because Starman says, no, I don't want to pay some dude a fuck just to hand me a paper towel that I can get myself. Oh, look, he's totally on board with us right there. Um, yeah. yeah. Oh, I like I like how you're both in agreement on that one. Problem solved right there. Let's go to another comment right now. Rock for Guitar says, When I visited Paris many years ago, I remember the public restrooms being remarkably clean. So much that a woman mopped my shoes along with the floor beneath the urinal as I was using it. Oh, Joel, he's telling your story. Now, that was a more oblivious restroom attendant. Mopping as men did their business was just another day on the job. Hey, she sure kept it clean. That's for sure. 
Oh, so all right. I don't even have a story. That's the cool part. I don't have a story. I'm just observant. <laughs> well, it really Y'all happened. Aren't. At least, at least it's our boy Dennis. But you know, the way Dennis comments on things on this show, it doesn't subscribe me. Some it doesn't surprise me. Some of his crazy life experiences that he's had. Thank you, Dennis. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Let's go to our next one right now because Elias Rosario says unnecessary. Just have the room cleaned by the staff. Attendants make me feel as if I must give a tip for them for just being there, even if I don't take anything. I feel bad. I mean, the mints at Cologne are awesome, but can they complimentary for being at the location? I think he means can they be can they be complimentary at for being at the location? So, yes, okay, you get a paper towel for a buck, all right, but last thing I want to do is after I'm in a bathroom, I don't want any restroom candy or mints, or like one I, I was out here last week had freaking Kit Kats in there. I'm not going to the bathroom to eat a Kit Kat. <laughs> it smells like other people are making Kit Kat. <laughs> I don't want anybody breaking me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. <laughs> oh my God. Yeah. Well, you know what? One thing that always solves the problem here. Let's go to our poll. And I got to be honest, we're going to have a problem with the poll today. I'm going to put the numbers up. Here it is. Uh, are you cool fresh room attendants? 100% said they don't bother me. I think that's a bunch of BS. It cannot be 100%. Any comments? Because <laughs> I would love to hear from somebody from the other perspective. Yeah. I love yeah. Me either. I mean, that, 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 we clearly have a 100% margin of error in our poll this time. It was time. just her. Was, she's the only one. She's the only one who voted. I didn't vote. <laughs> oh, guilty oh, as boy. charged, right? <laughs> we got a... <laughs> We go one more good one, and I'm going to share with you right now. And our final one, Courtney gets a final word. He says they'd be a lot more tolerable if they served drinks in there. Ooh, now wait a minute. Wait a minute. So you're talking about he's a mini bartender in the bathroom. Eh, maybe, right? I ain't got time for that. That's gross. Unsanitary. Yeah. That's not it, happening. You're in the bathroom. You're in a place that already serves drinks. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm with her. But let's be honest, you and I, we've, and I don't know if you have, Val, but Joe, I know you and I have, we've carried our drinks in the bathroom before because you're not finished with them. You're out in the casino, you're out in the bar having fun. You don't want to get rid of them. So you put them at little, that little drink holder there by the urinal. At least that's free. The cool thing is in Vegas, they have the thing ready for you to put your drink on it. Yeah. Other places they don't, but me and Joe improvise. <laughs> yeah. I There's always a... go out with groups. They watch my drinks, so I'll take them in. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> <laughs> the group, the groups are all stacking up their drinks there along the urinals. Wait, you don't have urinals in the ladies' rooms. So what do you guys stack them up on? You got a shelf? No, they have like by the sink. They have counter areas, but nobody brings their drinks in there because girls don't go to the bars alone. So there are people hang them, you know, is, hold on to them. Is that why you girls always take your bags in the bathroom because you're you're hiding like liquor and drinks in there and stuff because you have nowhere else to put your drink down there, so you're shoving them in your little bag. Could be the little shot bottles. She'll never tell you. Yeah, you'll never know what's in my bag. Oh, well. Well, hey, if you pay a restaurant attendant a couple dollars, you might have to search you before you go in there one time. All right. <laughs> yeah. I want to thank our viewers for joining us and our live viewers who are on the show. I want to thank you for who uh, chimed in on this one and always hit us up on Twitter as always. Make sure you click that like and subscribe button because you've got a new episode of King Back with Jersey Joe this Thursday at noon and every Thursday at noon on YouTube. Just follow me on social media and we'll all have a good time. I just want to thank our live viewers out there for joining us. Joel and Val over there. I want to thank you guys as well. And clearly, this was a very clean topic tonight, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, super clean. <laughs> Sanitize <laughs> yourselves. Yeah, will do. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. I hope.